New project. I'm going to start a new project before I finish all the other projects. In a few days, it's Patrick's 50th birthday party. You've seen all the videos. You've seen Patrick a number of times. He's a sailor at Sebago. He helped do the transit. He's been out a bunch of times. I think conceivable. And Patrick is turning 50. Patrick has that Goat Island skiff. I-A-Z-P. I am Zinnia Teradep. I thought it would be a nice gift if you had a canvas bailing bucket. Canvas bailing buckets are just, it's just a bucket made out of canvas. So I am going to make Patrick a canvas bailing bucket. Um, and when I first took on this project, I thought it would be easy. It's like a cylinder, boom, boom, and hi, Max. <laughs> Um, it's not as easy as I thought, but it, it encompasses several uh, of the, the uh, Marlin Spike kind of rope work tricks that I've been learning, splicing and knots and whatnot. whatnot. Um, so that's, that's my project for today. The first thing I need to do is uh, I'm going to make a grommet. I always thought a grommet was that metal thing that's in like tarps. And the grommet is is the metal thing. It's a metal grommet, but it's not the hole. The hole is just a an eye hole. The grommet is the thing that kind of protects the hole. The classic way is to make grommets out of twine or rope or anything. It's a it's a fiber it's a fiber art thing. I'll show you my. I've been practicing. You take a little piece of twine and you and you wrap it around itself. Um, to make a little loop and then you stitch it into the canvas. So there's a hole in that canvas and there's a little twine grommet and then it's stitched in. That is not very pretty. It's a practice. That's the grommet for the eye hole where the handle's going to go through. I'm going to use three strand and make a nice eye splice um, with fancy knots and shit. It's not going to be too fancy because it's going to go in the bilge of a sailboat. Um, but it's going to be nice, hopefully sturdy. This is really sturdy. They used to make, these kind of grommets are what you'd have in a sail. They, they can be really strong. This one's actually pretty strong. I'm amazed the strength that it adds to that hole. All just those two grommets. But the other, there's another grommet uh, that around the, the uh, opening to the bucket is basically you stitch in, into the fabric, a a loop of three strand that kind of gives the the opening rigidity so when you're you're scooping water it stays open um, so I picked up some three strand it's nylon I wanted to make it out of cotton or or uh, um, hemp or you know one of the natural fire it's hard to find that stuff short notice even in New York City uh, there's not I haven't been able to find it. I'm sure I'm going to suddenly get a bunch of comments on this video that, oh, you just go to, um, but anyway, uh, I'll make it out on the island. It's going to be fine. Um, it'll be strong and whatnot, but the idea with this opening grommet is it's one strand from the street, three strand. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm taking apart this three strand line. Hey, Max, I'm talking to the internet. What are you doing? Oh boy. You want to, you want to play with that toy? So I'm taking this three strand uh, rope here and I'm basically uh, deconstructing it, I'm taking it apart. Because you take one of the strands and you form a loop and then you recreate three strand out of one strand. So it's one continuous strand that makes up the entire grommet and then it's uh, woven in on itself and it's well you'll see you'll see so right now I'm just taking this thing apart gently because you kind of want this lay the the lay of the of the strand to stay intact because then it, it lays back cleanly so I'm just gently Deconstructing. Hi, buddy. Can I can I do this, Max? Hi, Hi Buzzy. Hello, Mr. Buzzers. Mmm, Christmas. 
there's a great channel online too that I just discovered. This guy Miko Snellman um, from Snellman Rope Works. He's in uh, Finland, and he's he's got a YouTube channel with a bunch of these little rope works how to's, and they're really nice, simple videos. There's no talking. It's all just you know shots of him doing the work, and it's they're very easy to follow. It's they're very well done videos. Miko, if you ever see this, well done. Very well done. Yay, that's it's eight inches in diameter. Five, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. 25 point one to 25 and an eighth, approximately. That's the approximate center. I need approximately. Twenty-five and an eighth. Let's go. No, let's burn two inches. Twenty-seven and an eighth. So. There's my middle. Sorry, I didn't get that. Alexa, shut up. So I have a piece of three strand line twisted in on itself. And it looks like made a little grommet. It's one, that's one strand of three strand that goes around itself. That's pretty cool. Cool, grommet's done. Cool. Um, next thing I've got here. So, I don't know if we've mentioned it. Lynn, back in the day, um, my sweet girl had her own canvas shop at a marina. Uh, she's worked at several in several canvas shops at several marinas all around the country. Uh, at one point, she had her own shop. She made bimini's and dodgers and covers and lee claws, anything, cushions. She's making cushions for our boat this hopefully this summer. Because of all that work she did, she has stacks and stacks of old material. And here we've got a nice big big chunk of kind of light medium weight canvas. I'm going to use this for the bailing bucket. It gets doubled up. Um, it's going to be a, the bucket's going to be what did I say? It's seven inches in diameter, um, probably around ten-ish inches high. So like a twenty-three and a half inch by ten inch chunk of this fabric. Is that what I came up with? Yes, twenty-three and a half by ten. Oh, I need the bottoms too. If it's seven inches in diameter. I need a seven and eight and a half inch diameter round. I'm gonna have to find something that's eight and a half inches. Okay, I saw that edges together, three quarters of an inch back. So I end up with a cylinder 20 inches high that gets folded in on itself. And we'll go back the other way because that should be double stitched. Thank you. 
perfect, but who cares? Cut. Oop. What do you turn inside out first? Oh, it automatically hides the stitch, doesn't matter. Close enough. It's going to be close enough. The tricky part is getting that together. Since I've got this, I've got it folded over, doubled. There's a pocket here that the grommet can go into. Yeah, that works. That's almost the bucket. <laughs> this is so hard. stitch in the this grommet but oh man that's cool man failing fuck it not done like oh the line sh <laughs> like it. Looks kind of like it. I think so. Now I have to let that dry. I'm going to go downstairs and get my laundry. It's going to be the outside of the grommet. Here's the grommet. I just made a couple grommets. And then draw a circle on the, the canvas. And it gets cut out.
little red, white, and bluey, but Patrick flies stars and stripes, so that should be good. Um, there's one grommet. Got both grommets. Cool, and now just the handle. I just made a freaking bucket out of canvas. It's all fiber. There's no. I mean, it's modern materials. This is that nylon. Is what? The handle's plastic. Yeah, that's nylon. The grommet inside is nylon. This. It's so cute. This is all nylon. Yeah, check it out. I need a shower. I've been working hard. I need a shower. <laughs> Is that what that is? A pterodactyl? That is a pterodactyl. Nerd. I guess it's Zinnia. <laughs> I go to Hans for dinosaur advice. Nerd. Uh, you're going to give this to Patrick? Yes. Okay. I unfortunately can't make it to Patrick. In your honor. <sighs> okay.